Hello everybody and welcome to this new video. This is a walking vlog. Enjoy! Wow. If you've ever seen someone with as much swag as me, don't lie to yourself. <laughs> we both know that whatever you, go, you, you are going to say would have been a lie, okay? Yes, I mean both options. <laughs> I should have probably, like, planned if it were to start raining right now. I would get pretty drained. <laughs> These things are the most unfunniest things that are on this planet Earth. It's called a weather stone. Let me tell you about this shit. The weather stone is something like, oh, <laughs> if the stone is wet, it's raining. <laughs> if the stone is dry, <laughs> the sun is shining. <laughs> and if the stone is gone, <laughs> fucking windy in it. Uh. You see what I mean? Yeah, I hate these stones. Could all just steal them. I wanted to say kill them, but that wouldn't make sense. It's a stone. Today I just wanted to go to the forest. And I would take my cat or my dog with me if I had a dog and if my cat would follow me around. I should have trained them. I should have trained him to do that. But whatever. I just met a really sweet dog. I think he likes me. That don't look too good. Yeah. <laughs> it would have been so smart to bring a raincoat. <laughs> Maybe it looks really warm, but <laughs> you know what? <laughs> it's actually cold as fuck for a summer day. <laughs> That's why I am running around in a pullover. And you know, it's like 12 degrees. Could these crickets just shut the fuck up? <laughs> um, I'm vlogging, okay? Do your own vlog if you gotta say something. <sighs> Disrespectful crickets. So, um, I was talking to this girl from Australia the other day and she was like, oh yeah, it's winter here right now and, and we got like 10 to 15 degrees. It's so fucking cold. And I was like, you... You measure in, in Celsius, right? It's... Right? She was like, yes, of course. Only weird underdeveloped countries like the USA use Fahrenheit. And I was like, good, good. Um, yeah, our winters are like below zero. So I was just asking, just asking. <laughs> and then today I was like, hey, remember how you told me that it was really freaking cold because it was like 10 degrees to 15 degrees? We got 12 today, and it's like summer, complete summer here in Germany. Why do these clouds look so bad? <laughs> I should really stop being so negative about these clouds. I should just focus on what's ahead. Yes, just focus on what's a... Oh. Okay, well, I guess we'll see. <laughs> Also, if you're curious why the camera quality is so goddamn good, it's because I got a new phone. And it's got a really good camera. And I'm really proud of it. <laughs> you know, back in the days you were a real fucking loser for filming a vlog with your fucking smartphone. And not with a good camera. And now, the, <laughs> the cameras I have that could film... Um, that one is constantly overheating, while the other ha has such bad quality that I'm actually embarrassed to film with it, even though it could just be my style to have bad camera quality. But, you know, for that to be a style, the, 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 the quality of the content would have to be good. And it's not, so... I can't do that bit! <laughs> have you ever seen a snail this aesthetic? Me neither. 
Go on, little snail boy. Or girl. Both. Go, go on, little snail pal. God, you look so cute. You know, when I was a child, I actually hated these kinds of snails. Wait, are they called slugs? Is that what a slug is? A snail without the little house? It's called a, a house in German. <laughs> it's the house of the snail. I don't know if that's the shell, right? Is that English? I don't know. <laughs> but um, I used to hate these slugs, I guess. I will just call them slugs, even though they, if, if, even if that's not their name, they are slugs now. I still hope that that's what they're called, because I would be so embarrassed if they wouldn't be called that anyway. Do you know what I just saw? The frog. Yes, do you see him? I see him. Or her. Them. I should stop using gendered pronouns for little animals I don't know the gender of. Come here, little frog boy. Girl. I love you. Stay, please. Please, I love you. No, I love you. Stay, please. I used to catch these all the time when I was little. Look at him. Oh, look at him. Oh. This is the best thing that could have happened to me today. <laughs> look at him go. Oh, he's so angry. Oh, please don't jump at me. I love you too. Also, please don't poison me. I heard that many frogs have very poisonous skin. This is so cute. My son. God damn, he's cute and he's so lovable. Look at him go. <laughs> okay, you can go off now. Have fun. You gotta be really careful in like late summer. The little, these little frog boys are coming from everywhere. I just let a fucking uh, mosquito, mosquito bite me because I wanted to keep my hand still where the frog was. Or was that like, no, that's not the thing. That's like turtle tortoise. Snail slug and also frog and what are the other things called? It's, it's Frosch und Kröte in German. Ah. Toad! It's toad! Toad! You know, every time I scream like that, I'm always like, I hope there is no one watching me because they would think I'm so stupid. <laughs> Not that that would be far off the truth, but you know. You know. <laughs> Do you remember what I just said? Yeah. You gotta watch out. Because these little fucks are all, all, everywhere. <laughs> look at him go. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, look at your little eyes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> just a comparison of how small this boy is. Or this girl, or whatever. Look, look, how small it is. Look, very much small, so small, so cute. What I'm about to say may seem a bit, well, may seem a bit rude and mean, but you know, this way, in my dictionary, this way is called the flat frog way. <laughs> because, um, you know, these little fucks that we just saw, there, yeah, they, they get like, this big, like the, the size of the palm of my hand or like my whole hand. They get this big when they're like outgrown and I have big hands. I just wanted to clarify that. My hands are not small. <laughs> and no, I won't do a comparison with anyone else if you really want to see if my hands are small. Also, there's another one. Look at him. Oh. Boop. <laughs> I hope this was on camera. And also, please, if there is, there is anyone in the comments saying, like, you can't do this to them, or you'll die if you touch them. I touched them a thousand times when I was a kid and I'm still alive. Maybe I have an antidote or something. There's another one. <laughs> you want to see more? <laughs> so what I was trying to say is, when they're big, they go from this side, 
to the other side of the way because there is a lake like a small very small pond or something they lay their eggs there and then they go this way I don't know why they go there because every time they try to cross the street there apparently there's there's a car waiting for them to just drive over them because they all die <laughs> or maybe they're just waiting to die there's another one that fly just attacked my little frog friend why did it do that yeah so they cross the street they get run over all the time there's another one <laughs> and um, there's another one <laughs> yeah they're not very smart as you can see oh this boy is is was he peeing are you peeing is that pee <laughs> was <laughs> did i scare him there's another one come on jump so they can see that you're real yeah right there and there's a little bug making my way downtown so all of them die and then the little ones are born there's another one. Oh, you're so cute um and they cross the street mostly from this side to the other but not all of them and I am I am here to question their shit. Why? Why? Why do you cross the street? I'd like to know. <sighs> Ma'am, sir? Person? I'd like to know why you cross the street. Why do you do that? You're gonna die. You have nice legs, you know that? You're so cute. <laughs> Oh, and also, there's there's someone else who's really cool. Look at this. Wow. You're also cute, but you're really poisonous. Like, very much poisonous. Much poison. No touch. I know that about the fucking worms and shit. I just want to touch some frogs. What's wrong with that? People on TikTok do it, do it all the time. I tried to make a slow-mo of, do a of a dog jumping. Yes, of course, of a frog jumping. I hope it worked. Yeah. You know, funny thing. One time, like a few weeks ago, I went on a walk, this road, exactly this road, with a girl. Yes, I know, I'm such a player. Going to a frog pond on a, on a date, I mean. It's what it was. I don't think it was a date. I don't know, man. Um, yeah, we went here, and there were so many little frogs that we couldn't concentrate on each 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 other because we had to concentrate on not to destroy too many baby frogs <laughs> or toads, whatever. So not a good idea if you want to get to know someone to go to the flat frog road. You know, these frogs, they played Frogger. I just noticed that. These are all, if you ever played Frogger, these are all the lives that you... that you wasted. You wasted their lives. They died because of you! I'm just kidding. You know, this is actually, I lied to you, this isn't the first vlog I filmed with this smartphone. I didn't even say that, but you know, this isn't the first vlog is what I'm trying to say. Um, I already filmed one. Also, there's the pond. You can't see it, but there's the pond. I should stop interrupting myself. Um, yeah, this isn't the first vlog. I already filmed one, but I got really aggressive. <laughs> at the end and I actually don't know why <laughs> but I talked about how uh, some people draw just some very just just very um unrealistic body types all the time and not like unrealistic I mean like in this thin of waist and these big boobies but this wasn't to present my body it was to present like really big 
yeah. <clears throat> no, but I was like really upset about people being like, oh yeah, this is a female character. Or fe fe yeah, it's a female character. And she has this slim of a body with just like no muscle mass at all. And also she's a professional swimmer. And I was like, dude, that's not how it works. <laughs> like, especially like weightlifters, swimmers, something where you have to like have very much energy and power. I know a lot of people who are like, like not really professional swimmers, but they, I mean, they get sponsored sometimes, so I guess professional. But you know, they don't do it for the months. They do it for the funds. <laughs> um, uh, and, and, and yeah, so, so they, they don't look like, like that most of the time. I don't know anyone who looks like that who does like a lot of swimming. <laughs> getting closer please don't rain and not only with people who have female bodies but also people who have male male bodies i don't know if you can hear me because of the wind <laughs> also people who have male bodies you know because you're just setting weird standards not everybody doesn't look not everybody looks like that that was what, what was i trying to say fuck <laughs> That what? What? That was what I was trying to say. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, not everybody looks like that. So please try to incorporate like more body types, not just because like you want to be uh, inclusive, but maybe also because it's unrealistic sometimes, <laughs> if, yeah, especially if you have characters like yeah, this character likes to read books all the time. They just sit inside all the time. And they don't do shit. Like really, nothing. And then you draw them with these, this much abs? And this kind of biceps? And moops? Dude, that person is not gonna look like that! Yeah, I mean, of course, if you have like fast metabolism and and just some people you know you know what i'm getting at yeah but you see i get weirdly aggressive when it comes to this topic so i d i deleted the whole vlog because of that also what am i doing with my life right now i'm working at a hospital again uh because that's my job kind of <laughs> No, I'm still like studying to be a physiotherapist. There's a weird insect flying around me. Um, I'm still studying to be a physiotherapist. And in Germany, it's like, okay, you have seven weeks of school and then you have seven weeks or around seven weeks <laughs> of your practica. There are a lot of frogs right now. Frogs. And so I'm on, uh, <laughs> and so I am in a different, or I'm working in a different hospital right now. Um, oh, that's a tiny. You are so small. How can someone be so small? I want to boop you, but I also don't want to boop you. I don't want you to get scared. Look at them. Oh, look at them. Oh. Yeah, I'm working at a different hospital. All that. So that's all that I wanted to say. <laughs> and, um,. I don't even know if I told you how it was in the first hospital. Not that good. This one, it's okay. Um, one colleague of mine is a little bitch, but that's okay. Um, I can work with bitches. <laughs> it's what I do all day. <laughs> and so, um, yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. <laughs> The funny thing is, just like a few days ago, um, we of the first year um, studied with the ones of the last year because they had their exams just a couple of days ago and we had to play patience for that and they wanted to train with us before they got us as patients. And um, yeah, uh, they told me like 
Oh wait, that was your first practica, like the, the practicum, like your, like that, that really bad one. I was like, yeah, wait, wait, where are you now? And I was like, this one. And they were like, oh, so you got the worst ones at first. And I was like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> because my headmaster told me like, okay, you're not going to go to the other hospital anymore because they were so bad at like you know showing you the ropes of being a physiotherapist because that was your first practicum and it was pretty bad so um you're not going to go there anymore and they just went to the second worst <sighs> oh well look at this wow we're in the woods now I have so much swag. <laughs> We're not going to be in the woods for a long time, but I um, I just wanted to go here for a bit. Um, not for a bit, like in a comedic way, for a bit because I was so stressed out because of work and I just needed to get outside again because I was sitting in my room and I was like, oh wow, I'm getting sad right now. <laughs> also, this camera is so fucking good. And it stabilizes the motion a lot because I'm bad at holding the camera um, while walking and talking. You know? You know? Yeah. There was an insect in my hair just now. <laughs> Look at this. I know it's bad for the lens to hold it directly into the sun, but it looks so cool. Get some forest action in here. Yes. Why is the, are the colors on my telephone always this very muddy and not as cool as they are in real life? It makes me sad. It's like there is always an uncool filter on my camera lens, which makes all the colors seem uncool. And I don't like that, because I have cool colors. Fuck this. <laughs> you know, this could be such a great relaxing video if I wasn't complaining all the time. But I want to. So fuck off. Oh yes. Also I'm I actually like my fit. Just looks really weird right now. Let me show you. We got the group selfie mode. I hope you notice. Got a sweater. And just some sweatpants. And some weird shiny shoes. <laughs> This paired with round sunglasses, and I'm ready to go. <laughs> On a walk in, in the forest. All alone. With only the animals to judge me. With only all the frogs to judge me. So they can go to their flat ass parents and tell them, like, I, I met a really weird person today. And their parents are going to be like, son and daughter, I'm, I'm dead. Why are you still talking to me? Why are you still living in this misery? You got to let go! Also, I don't have to be scared of like animals coming and kill me because I'm so goddamn loud! <laughs> and the weather is too worse, so there will only be people with their dogs that could hear me. And they would be like, why is a person talking in English? We're in Germany right now! Sie Deutschland! Sprechen Sie Deutsch! I'm just like feeding into the stereotype that every German person is screaming all the time. Do you want to see a black slug? Look at this dark boy. We got matching styles. Oops. That was bad camera work. Hi. How are you doing today? You're so beautiful. <laughs> wow. You know, the thing is with this society, Every time I get a new phone, I'm like, oh, this camera is so good. And then I like use it three times and it either gets really bad or, or my expe expectations are just rising up like crazy because <laughs> then I, it's just like, oh, this camera is really bad all of a sudden. How did that happen? I don't know, but I think I took the wrong road. <laughs> this just looks like it leads to nowhere, but let's go. <laughs> I don't care. Let's follow the weird road. Yeah, I hope no one's going to kill me here. 
or kidnap me or something. That would be bad. And I also hope that no wolf's going to come and kill me. I know I have red cheeks like, uh, what is it called in English? The red something with hood? Rotkäppchen, you know, the, the fucking from, from Grimm, you know? <laughs> I know I have red cheeks and everything, but I am not that guy, and that girl, I mean. Um, <laughs> I actually do not recognize this road, but I know where I'm going, so it won't be a problem. Wouldn't it be funny if I just end the vlog with me just standing somewhere in the middle of the woods like, huh, so um, guys, my, my battery is running out. Um, I'm not seeming to find a road again. I just wanted to go pee and, and I think I'm going to have to sleep here. I, I hope no one's going to. Oh my God, I think there's someone there. That would be funny, right? So funny. Just a question for you to answer in the comments below. If you go alone somewhere, especially like in the woods or somewhere where it's like more villagey than everything else, what are you more, more scared of? That a person is going to come and find you or that it, like a wild animal is going to come and find you? And before you say anything, you're wrong if you choose the animal. <laughs> because what is an animal going to do? Most of them are actually scared of you. And if you see like something like, um, what is it called? A <sighs> like a pig that lives in the wild? Oh no! Right now I'm asking myself if I should, if I should put that in a video. Maybe I put this clip after this one. Or like put a trigger warning in front of it because seeing bucks die is sad. <laughs> so, um, like, if it's a wolf or a bear, I can understand that, you know? With the whole, oh, the animal is worse kind of situation. But every other animal is like, even bears are sometimes scared of humans. And wolves too, like, you know, people think and people are malicious and bad and mean and just terrible. <laughs> Don't go near humans. <laughs> of course, so many of you will choose the fucking uh, animal because they think, oh no, what if it's going to kill me? Yeah, you know what? The, the human can do that too. And they would do it with a malicious intent. So after scaring you um, off from going alone somewhere, especially in the woods, you know why I do this? Because I don't want anyone to visit my roads. Because I want to see this stuff alone. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. But that's my fear all the time. That's why I'm vlogging so much when I'm going on walks, because I'm scared as fuck. <laughs> Think I'm like a bad guy and like a cool guy? No, man. I'm scared all the time! <laughs> oh, just do it like me. And just vlog. So you can talk to something. And I mean, it's just a win win situation. You create content. And um, you can talk about whatever you want. You can feel funny. Um, and you don't feel as alone. And you're not as scared anymore. Because there could be people everywhere. <laughs> Gen Z, scared of humans a lot more than of wild animals. And I think I went the wrong way. Oh, Please, please be a crossroad so I can go right. Oh no. <laughs> mm. I went the wrong way. Well, let's just go this way. <laughs> Let me just go like five kilometers more and I, then I'm in Bremerhaven. Huh? That joke's only for German people who live in my area because every other person wouldn't understand how close or far Bremerhaven is from where I live. <sighs> this is the perfect place for a murder to happen. I know where I am! I said this two times already in this video. This is not good. Because <laughs> you know, actually, it seems like I don't actually know where I am. I do. It's just that I never went this way, so I didn't know where it would 
go after that, you know? But now I do. Well, it's funny, I was always curious where this way would go. Now I know. The more you know. Now, should I go this way and just go back to the village? Should I go that way and go farther, like, away from the, vi the village? Or should I go this way? Lucky option and just go on a big ass walk. This is kind of like a checkpoint. Let's make two vlogs out of this. Also, I forgot to do an intro. So I do the outro right now and then I do the intro for the next part. And this part, because I forgot this one. Yeah. So thank you everybody so much for watching. Like, subscribe and share this video with your friends. <laughs> and yeah, see you in the next vlog. <laughs>